though they look like a combination of a lemur, raccoon, and monkey with possibly a bit of piglet thrown in, Coatimundi are officially part of the raccoon family, Procyonidae, along with kinkajous, ringtails, and olingos. These furry creatures mainly inhabit parts of South and Central America, but can also be found in Arizona and New Mexico. They hang out in trees and have brown-colored fur and a long snout that helps them forage for insects and fruit. Their ringtails give off more raccoonish vibes, but there are plenty of distinctive characteristics that set Coatimundi, also called Coates, apart from their black and white cousins. The name Coatimundi is believed to come from the Tupian languages indigenous to South America. Their word, Kwatiai, is a combination of Kwa meaning belt and Tim meaning nose, describing the way the Kwati sleeps with its nose tucked into its belly. They use these special noses to sniff out grubs like beetles and termites, plus the occasional frog, lizard, or mouse. Unlike raccoons who are primarily nocturnal, Kwati stay awake during the day. The name Kotamundi was originally used to describe adult males that live alone, translating into lone Kwati, but it is now used universally. Along with being good swimmers, Kawatis are excellent climbers. While most of the day is spent foraging for food on the ground, they do their sleeping, mating, and birthing in trees. Groups of Kawatis, called bands, consist exclusively of females and their young. Numbers range from 4 to 20 individuals at a time, but sometimes reach up to 30. These bands tend to be noisy, with constant grunts, chirps, and snorts. After male babies reach two years of age, they go off on their own while the females remain in the band with their mothers. Unlike some fellow arboreal mammals, coatis can't use their tails for gripping. Instead, the long and banded tails act as balancing poles while the animals are climbing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like it. See you later.